Marvel's Midnight Suns has been out for a few weeks now, but should you actually spend your time on it? Welcome to Busy Dad Gaming, the place for busy dads and all things Xbox. Now, Marvel's Midnight Suns, when it released, was in a pretty rough state, and there were some performance issues across all platforms. But now that we're actually through the release period, it's gone through a couple patches, is it finally worth your time? So to answer that question, we're gonna look at the graphics, the story, is the game actually fun because kind of a big deal and should you pick it up now to dive right into things we're going to take a look at the graphics and the gameplay and overall across all platforms the game does look good now i wouldn't say it is the best comic book looking game ever it does get the job done now having gone through a couple patches graphical issues at this point aren't really prevalent the game does run really well at this point the hitching does happen occasionally especially in the abbey when you're going into different areas I noticed hitching across both Xbox and PC. Now the fighting really is the midnight sun of the show. So much so that I actually wish there was more fighting in this game. Now, exploring the Abbey was okay, building friendships is okay, upgrading your character was okay, but fighting? I wanted more of it. And that brings us to the story, and overall the story was, it was okay. It's a comic book story, let's be honest. And overall, I will avoid spoilers in this review, but bad person is loose and you're resurrected to bring her down. The story really is straightforward, it really is a comic book story, so don't expect anything riveting to come out of it. But the story was entertaining nonetheless. And that brings me to is this game actually fun and that was my biggest question especially with like XCOM games they can overstay their welcome a bit but the fighting in this game I wanted more of it now the exploring the Abbey is okay but it can get boring but if you put in the time you'll actually start to build up the relationships you'll get additional bonuses you'll level up your character it does give you a lot more bonuses and personally I really did enjoy parts of that but I would have rather have not had so much time in the Abbey. The Abbey actually did get really boring really quickly. So personally, I really did enjoy the game. I really am enjoying the game and so much so that I actually held off on the main story for quite a while and leveled up my character, build the relationships and got a really good understanding of how the game played, especially like the upgrades and things of that nature to really increase my character's level. So that when, when I did go and start the fighting, it was just even more fun because you had access to more stuff. Now, one additional thing I'll throw in here as well is the card system in the game. The card system was actually a really great addition, especially when you can kind of, if you've played Marvel Snap, it's kind of in the same vein where in combat, you can go ahead and play different cards that have different abilities, which then have different outcomes in the story. And with your character, you have both light and dark uh, effects. So depending on how you want to structure your character and the different cards that you want to play, you can also upgrade those cards across all of your characters. So it really was a really cool aspect and it's what kept me engaged the most with this game. Ultimately, is this a game you should pick up? And I've personally really been enjoying this game and I would suggest, yeah, pick it up. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot to this game. It has a halfway decent story, but the card system, the combat really did steal the show. And after all the uh, patches and updates, the game is in a really good state. Now, if you can find it on discount, like it was during, I believe it was Black Friday, even better. But even at full price, I feel that this is a game that is a lot of fun, it is worth your time, and it is something I would recommend you picking up. Now, if you're looking for another game to pick up, make sure to check out my playlist going over other Xbox games that may be a good fit for you, and I'll see you over there.